start our journey. Since the dawn of mankind, we tried to map the world. Initially, these maps were not very accurate, but we've come a long way with satellite images. So let's go to a place that I believe many of you call your home. So this is how we're used to see the world. Hmm, but this is not really what the world looks like, unless you're a bird or an avian. What about this? We have mapped every building in full details, and we want to show the world the way it is. So the company is a spin-out of the Swedish defense industry, where this technology was previously deployed in missiles and fighter jets. Right now, we're using the previously classified technology to map the world. Golden Gates. Um, so let's head on south to Stanford University. So this is how we're used to see the world on the web. This is the way it looks. Every building, every tree, mapped in perfect details and no cartoons. So how does this work? Well, let's go to London. Take a close look at Big Ben. See what time it is? 11.20? 2 o'clock? 2.30. Using our image processing technology, we're stitching together images into one seamless city model. We'll give you less than 10 centimeter accuracy and really show you the world the way it is. Buckingham Palace, the way we're used to see it. Hmm, Queen is refurbishing, spending taxpayers' money. <laughs> Let's continue. Big Apple. So we actually have more 3D objects in New York than it's available in Google Earth in total. But to really make these images useful, you want to overlay social and mobile content in real time. Or why don't you create an exciting game? <laughs> Looking for a hotel room in New York? Very expensive. Or what if you want to change that loft apartment in the meatpacking district to a nice pied -a terre on Central Park West? Well, beautiful view. Let's con conclude our journey here in Long Beach. So far, we have mapped 100 cities. And as we speak, we're capturing data in Cape Town, Sydney, and Rio. We're dedicated to show the world the way it is. Uh, I'm running out of time, but at the end of the conference, uh, please come and see me, and I would be happy to show you more of the world in its true beauty. Thank you.